Stanford-affiliated accelerator Stardex has just opened a biotech research lab here in Palo Alto in concert with QB3. We're here to check it out and see what they're working on. So we're in the Stardex QB3 lab. Uh, we've been trying to set this up for the past several years. One of the uh, initial pain points that every medical company has to go through, biotech, med device, um, hardware, chemistry based, is uh, access to early stage lab space. So it was important for us to set this up. Any software can start in the garage. We cannot. We deal with the uh, chemicals, we deal with uh, you know, certain chemical hazardous material. So we need to have a, a lab that's approved to allow all those things to happen. Starbucks will give you free Wi-Fi and a bathroom and a lot of coffee, but you can't solder in there, you, can, uh, you can't 3D print in there. As a hardware company, you need to build things. And uh, building requires a space for doing it. And a lot of companies don't want to spend money on the equipment. So Stardex is trying to move into a position where we can supply a lot of that up front. I'm an MD, PhD student at Stanford, uh, worked for about seven years on the technology in the lab, wanted to spin it out into a company, and uh, really didn't know where to start. So I was very fortunate in 2011 to go through the Stardex program. Uh, one thing that my co-founder, Divya Nag, and I, um, I guess, experienced going through the program was amazing mentorship. But um, I, I guess the infrastructure on the med side hadn't yet been built. So when we finished the program, it was important for us to try to, I guess, build an industry-specific vertical for, for medical companies. Stardex says that the companies that it supports get about $100,000 in resources in the forms of things like leases, computers, consulting. Biotech firms, they're getting even more resources. A couple of the startups that I spoke to here said that they were getting quotes of labs requiring $3,000 a month and 5% equity to get one person a lab bench. Here, they get that included with the whole accelerator experience. And they don't take any equity. If I want to have a small space for ourselves, it's just uh, not so many of them available even. Even I want to pay. Have a space like this really allows small uh, company like us to again kick off a full operation by spending a you know, limited amount of our own money to buy equipment and yet to get access to a much wider range of facilities and uh, equipment. When you're working with certain chemicals, you don't want to breathe in the, the fumes. You can't do this sort of work in your garage, so they have four different fume hoods to be used. There's freezers at 4 degrees C, minus 20 degrees C, and minus 80 degrees C, which can be used to store valuable biological samples that are very precious and that will degrade at room temperature. Uh, centrifuges, which are used quite a bit when processing biological samples. You go into any large pharmaceutical lab, you'll see rows of centrifuges, and we have centrifuges here as well. You can come into tissue culture room and you can avoid contaminating your samples. We have seven hardware companies right now. It's fantastic. Our, our vertical has been growing pretty steadily for the last I think eight sessions now, and we're, we're trying to aggressively expand. Uh, we've got a, a number of different machines. A lot of it's built for designing mechatronic, um, a lot of different electronics equipment. We have some 3D printers here. We've got one running right now. And a lot of different hand tools, basically for prototyping. Uh, some of the med teams came in. They saw us running this 3D printer, and they were like, wait a minute, we need, we need this special kind of cap. Like, I, can I use that machine? It's like, absolutely. It's open to everybody. And in fact, we encourage everybody to start using the space. And also, I think we like to be, I like the location. Being in the StartX program, and right here, really allow us to access to the resources the StartX program provides very efficiently. So we can go out, to listen to a seminar, talking to the people, back to life, do the experiments right away. So you know, having something in the vicinity of Stanford, um, where, we, where we can uh, build a community of uh, entrepreneurship around, I think it's very important to empowering uh, people in academia to, to start companies. Historically, about a quarter of Stardex's companies have been related to the biotech field. With its current summer session, that number is closer to half. So it's interesting to see the Accelerator commit more resources and build a sense of community among that group. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that develops over the next year or two.